Welcome back to another reaction video. Angelina Jordan. Now, I have not followed her, but I have heard a couple of her songs. She just released something new, If I Were a Boy. Now, I can't wait to listen to this. I have not yet. I saw it in my feed. So let's go ahead and look at this together. If I were a boy Even just for a day I'd roll out of bed in the morning and throw on what I wanted and go. Okay, so this song does start out really low. This is where I'd. Mm. It's an E flat three. So for a female voice, that's really low, but I can already hear it in her voice. Like she has a darker, more alto type voice. And I just can't get over the fact how dark and heavy her voice sounds it's it's just very unusual which is really cool so you don't always have to have that disney princess sound to have a beautiful really unusual sound and i love love the way her voice sounds right now drink beer with the guys and chase after girls i can't care with who i wanted and i never care confronting for Okay, so I love how she has that control on the low end, which is really hard. When you flex your support too much and you're pushing too much, you don't have really good control. And the control is signified in her vibrato. So nice control over her vibrato comes at the end, kind of very mainstream, straight tone, and then uh, kind of a little wider than maybe at some other genres or times like this is definitely very mainstream pop right now I want a boy I think I could understand You hear all those exhales I could understand So this is really great for urgency for intensity but it does help your vocal mechanism like you really get that support Ugh. Even on the outward, you just push it a little bit. And I feel like exhaling the last bit of air helps you to get another intense inward breath, which then just makes everything more urgent. How it feels to love a girl, I swear I'd be a better man. I listen to her, cause I know how. The cello is real. The strings, that is, that's a, that's a sequencer. So that is, that is an actual virtual instrument, but I love that arrangement. <sighs> okay. I don't want to get any hate here. Her voice is amazing. And as a singer, she has wonderful artistry and expressiveness. She like phrasing is amazing. She has great control. Of course, this is an actual recording. It's not live. She's great live. But this is, of course, it's going to be impeccable because we're going to make sure in this recording and post-production that it's like to a T, right? In a live setting, you don't really need that. But I can, what I have the feeling is like, I have the feeling like she has been singing a lot and I can hear it in her voice. I can hear that slight delay in the onset when it comes to clarity in the voice. So it does sound like she has been doing a lot of singing. And so I feel like... She's still quite young. You wait 10 more years. I'm very much worried that she's gonna not get rid of raspiness and breathiness in the voice. There's always this slide you can hear that's like, it's almost like there's something on the vocal cords. It doesn't diminish her artistry, but I just wanted to mention this. Cause I know that she'd be faithful 
I love that she's barefoot. It's a little too late for you to come back. So on that little too late, she kind of needs that to kind of push it outward a little bit more. That is a stylistic thing and it's totally okay for pop music. Just want to mention that it seems like her onset especially when it's not on the low end or her, of her voice, but in more in the middle or high end. She does need that extra little push outward to get the vocal cords to close in a way to where it's like it's actually happening. There's always this slight moment that where it's a danger zone, kind of like when you don't, when you're too soft and too light on it, on the vocal cords and not having really good closure, which happens when you have kind of tenseness in your vocal cords or you have been singing a lot and there's strain. It's almost like when you're playing the guitar, you know, as you play more and more, you are, you're building calluses, except there's a difference in singing, like you shouldn't build any calluses because that'll have that effect on, you know, when you have an onset that's on the higher end, it's like, uh, you should have an easy light onset, which should be easy. As soon as that's not the case, you need that extra push, like, uh, uh, that uh, or the diaphragmatic push to get that onset you can't have that light very easy light onset anymore just wanted to point that out no hate at all hey if you are a singer who wants to start making money with your voice or you have started to make money but you feel like you can do so much more i have created a two-day weekend workshop only for those who are very serious right here in my studio i will rock your world i will get you out of your comfort zone i will help you find your uniqueness and essentially create a brand as an artist. We're going to work on singing things, but also mindset and business. Check out the link below for when the next one is happening. And I hope to see you there. She's an amazing artist. And you know what? This happens not because there's not good technique. It happens because someone is singing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And maybe over singing a bit. Just too much. It's like an athlete. You do too much, there is a physical limit to how much you can do. It's just a mistake, think I forgive you like that. If you thought I would wait for you, if that oh, But you're just a boy. You don't understand. There's a lot of raspiness, which, of course, it's totally incorporated into her style. There's nothing negative about it. There's just a difference between being able to have crystal clear and choosing to be raspy and never being able to do crystal clear again because you don't have the option. It's just not possible with your vocal cords anymore. I think this is an amazing performance and her voice is very unusual. So she definitely has an unfair advantage just because of her timbre. I also feel it reminds me a little bit of Miley Cyrus, you know, like having that very heavy voice. It's really hard to bridle it, especially when you're young. And then when you start over singing a lot, it's not helping you in the future. So I just want to say protect your voice. And just because you can sing belted and high and intense it doesn't mean you should do it all the time protect your voice you only have one you can't go buy another one like a guitar you know once it's broken or the string breaks you could just get a new one you can't with your voice very important to protect it at all cost and 
it's very dangerous for singers who are really amazing and great and who just have that natural skill to kind of just let it all go and just do it, do it, do it, do it until failure, which isn't really good for the long term. You still want to sing when you're 50, 60, 70, and you want to have a clear voice and have control over those onsets to where you don't have to give it that extra push. No hate at all. I'm repeating no hate. She's an amazing artist and singer. I love this performance and that arrangement. It's charming. It's so charming and beautiful. And so is she. She looks beautiful. She sounds amazing. She's a great artist. Her musicality, her phrasing is wonderful. And the way she uses her registers to get that emotion through, it does grab your attention. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know in the comments if you hear any strain in her voice. And what other singers want, do you want me to react to? I'm always grateful for new ideas. Until next time, my friends, always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing.